physics, biology and chemistry, and this was worth one GCSE. The other exams such as French, ICT and religious education, I never bothered to attend those, because I knew I would fail since I never paid attention in those classes. After a long three-month wait, it was August 2009, and it was results day. So, that's uh, Microsoft George. On Microsoft Word, you got a read aloud option. So, obviously, like the robotic voice and that reading out the text. This is an extract from my book. We're on one particular chapter, but some of the previous chapters got me thinking. And there's certain times in life, even your your family members, you know, like maybe even your immediate family members, like your household. They don't support you. you know, they, they don't support you. Like when you're at a low point, they may not say it. They may not even show it in their body language. But for some reason, they're happy that you're at a low point. They're happy that you're at a low point and they will laugh to themselves. But there's certain individuals like myself, they could be at a low point in their life. Their life could be shit. They could, you know, be arrested, go to prison, come out, get stabbed. Their life could be in turmoil. But there's certain individuals like myself, they can bounce back from that. And they can do so well, the people around them, they're scratching their heads and they're sitting back and thinking like, hold on a minute, I live a normal life. I personally don't get into trouble. This individual has lived a shit life at some point. He's got into trouble. He's bounced back and he's doing better than me. You see certain people out here. They see shit like that and they will hate you for it. You know? They won't try and pick your brain and get inside your brain and find out like, what steps did you take? Like even mental steps. They won't even like ask you, you know, what mental steps? Because it's not all about the physical. What mental steps did you take to be able to bounce back and do even better than me? Now, probably it's a pride thing. But there's certain individuals around us. They don't want to see us succeed. So... This is why I have this lone wolf mentality. Like, I don't want to say F the world, but me, I just depend on myself. Now, I expect when I make the effort, when I put the energy out there, I expect, you know, one day people to see me and say, yeah, boom, let's help this individual. Like I've mentioned previously, white people do help black people, you know. Yeah. Get this out of your brain that... White people are here to annihilate black people and they hate black people. White people will help black people. All people will help black people. But you have to help yourself first. So when I came out of prison, I got an apprenticeship through my probation service. My probation officer saw that I had potential. Again, even in that, when I was in prison, my white teacher wrote into the prison. To vouch for me. So when I came out of prison, an opportunity came up and my probation officer put me forward. Two white people. Even then, later on in life after I became a fully qualified electrician, my white manager gave me a job uh, as a supervisor. I came there as an electrical tester and then he made me the electrical testing supervisor. But that's only because I put the energy out there. I showed people, you know what? I'm willing to go out there and make the effort. And people will invest in you. But they don't invest in people who, they're lazy, they sit around, they blame people for their problems. No one wants to invest in people like that. So anyway, in life, you're going to have haters. You are going to have haters. Yeah. Everybody who is successful has haters. Everybody. Yeah. No matter how nice someone is, they're going to have a hater. That's why none of these celebrities, like, you got rappers and that, like, man, like, 50 Cent, yeah? 
too bad I need man. Yeah, these men were like involved in that type of lifestyle, but you got men who are not involved in that lifestyle, but they still feel compelled to walk down the street with with security because they know there are people out here. They don't even like man like Drake. Yeah, man like Drake ain't done nothing to nobody. But even he knows, even girl like Rihanna, yeah. These celebrities know that there are some people they they can't see someone else be successful and they want to take them out whether it's for clout there's certain people out here they want to attack celebrities and that just for clout but there's some people just the mere thought of someone else doing well it boils their blood and this is someone they don't know now other people there's certain people in your life they might see you doing well and it will piss them off like i say all the time in my videos you don't know who your friends are until you, until you start doing better than them yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's on fifty grand a year, living in a detached house in a decent area. Yeah. Nothing special, but nothing shit. Yeah. All right. Boom. Start driving a Bentley. Get a job promotion. Let them slap you on one hundred and fifty grand a year. Make your ass move to a nicer area. Yeah. Make 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 yourself move to a a, a, a double detached house with free driveways and that. Yeah. And you see the people them around you, you see how they start to treat you. They will automatically assume that you think you're better than them. No, 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 no. You don't think you're better than them. Yeah. You're doing well. They have low self-esteem. They don't believe that they could achieve the things that you can. So automatically, oh, that person thinks he's better than everyone else. I know family members. They say certain individuals think that they're better than other people. Because then themselves, they're down in the dumps. They ain't made no progress over any period of time. And then there's certain other family members, they observe these people, they're making progress, drive nice car, whatever. And the family members who are down in the dumps, or the friends who are down in the dumps, will look and say, oh, that person thinks they're better than, than me. No. No. The sole reason why you think that that person is better than you because you don't have it yourself. If you had it or more, you wouldn't give a fuck if that person thought they was better than you. You Really and truly, you couldn't think that they thought they was better than you anyway because you have the same and or more. So people that think that people think they're better than other people, it's their own insecurity showing. Yeah. It's their own insecurity showing. But the good thing about human beings is even if we don't say it, we can always, you know, look at body language and there's always telltale signs. There's always telltale signs whether or not someone's a jealous, someone's a hater. Yeah. Man will hate you for everything, you know. You could be going out with one particular girl. Man will hate you for that. You could be a, a chick. You could marry a footballer or something like that. Other girls will hate you. Other girls will want to take your man. So out here, they're just bare haters. But, as I say all the time, if you're not hated, you're not rated. So, sometimes it's good to have haters around. Because that reminds you, you're doing good things. No one's going to hate on a crackhead. No one's going to hate on a bumless home. But, you get that new contract. You blow up on social media. You start driving this new car. You get that girl. You buy that house. People are coming for you. It's part and parcel of success. Stay wise.